Fenwi Lee Waters, we can do this. Tasker Kamoy, we in Guinea Dog and our Adran Economy at Trevnidiet and the Hiwadrith Kimberley. Do we do it or different man? Are we in Kandahar a Kungwen Rice? So the Valleys Task Force was created in 2016 and there's been a huge range of initiatives over the years to try and deal with the challenges faced by the old uh, South Wales coal field. And this was attempting to be different because this wanted to be uh, ground up based on what the people in the valleys themselves wanted. So we held a series of public meetings in almost every community to hear directly from people. And based on that, we drew up a set uh, of priorities and a set uh, of targets. In the last two years since I've been chairing the task force, what I've been really keen on is to speak to and listen to the people who live and work in the valleys now and take their initiatives and try and scale them up, not try and impose on the valleys a set of ideas that the Welsh Government in Cardiff may have. But I think the solutions to the problems faced by the valleys lay in the valleys with the people of the valleys and unleashing that potential and that passion and scaling it across all the communities is the best way of creating lasting change. So one of the first things I did was I went and met every leader of every council uh, across the valleys to find out what good things they are doing now that they're succeeding that other councils may want to pick up. Uh, and the strongest idea that came through was a scheme in Ronda Cunnan Taff to bring empty homes back into use. Uh, the Ronda and the surrounding valleys have some of the highest uh, levels of empty homes in the whole of the UK and that was creating a problem not just it's taking houses out to the housing stock, we have a shortage of affordable houses as we know, but also it was creating problems in the street. So an abandoned home is more likely to have rats, is more likely to have overgrown gardens, boarded up windows, bringing down the spirit uh, and feel of the street. So what RCT did was create their own small grant scheme to give people incentive to take empty homes on and to do them up. So I wanted to scale that across the valleys because I think it's a tremendous scheme. We put £10 million into the project and now 600 homes right across the old South Wales coal field have had grants of up to £20,000. If they commit to living in those homes for five years, it's not about turning them on a quick profit for themselves. It's about creating homes for families that lift the spirit of, this, of the street and that's transforming the lives uh, and the livelihoods uh, of five hundred streets uh, across the valleys, helping local businesses as we go and creating a, a legacy that will last past the term of the Valleys Task Force. We wanted this to be about the countryside on your doorstep, a visitor attraction for sure, but also about enabling people who live in the valleys to explore the beauty on their doorstep. Because we know from a well-being point of view, access to nature is crucial for your own well-being and for your own uh, health. Uh, and using an example in Bridgend, uh, we've created now a network of, uh, of volunteers and, uh, and rangers, community connectors, I think they call them, who can run the walking groups or cycling groups or access to nature groups. Working with local GPs and their social prescribing models, so rather than giving someone a tablet, you might give them a, access to an outdoor activity where you meet other people, you create friendships, you get in the outdoors, you have exercise. So again, it's about people and it's about green places to enhance the sense of what we have there and to create a legacy which goes beyond five years. What I wanted to do is to create a, a network, just as you have in private schools or in universities. You get former pupils setting up alumni networks where they give back sometimes. They give, they give donations, but often they'll give time and they'll give advice, they'll give mentorship. But I want that for every Valley's comp, not just for the posh schools. Uh, so this is an attempt to create a scheme working with 10 uh, schools intensively. We're creating a toolkit that every single school across the Valleys and indeed across Wales can use used to draw in the talent of the people who've been to the schools to give back uh, but and also in the whole community so it's just as important that somebody who's interested in going to plumbing can talk to somebody who's been to their school who is now working in plumbing to give them practical advice or an airline pilot or a lawyer or whatever it is just a, a, a network to draw on because i think the best way to grow our communities is the talent we have within and some of the talent that has gone away 
away and wants to give back and some of the talent that stayed local. And I think by helping each other and building that social capital is our best chance of regenerating. Over the last five years, the Valley's Task Force has made a real difference, but there is so much more to do. And that lies with all of us. The future of our communities lies within our communities and together we can make things better. Things don't have to be this way and we can do it if we work with one another. Yachavavriam. <laughs>